Welcome back students. All right, so today we're going to be doing the opinion of the galaxy. I want to show you some examples of the galaxy before we get started. This is one that my daughter painted during a painting class that we did. And there was another one that was done. And um, here's another one. So you can see you can take any possible, very, many variations of, of a galaxy. You can create however you want it to be. And today we're going to show you how to do one version of that. Let's get started. One thing I wanted to tell you is the materials that we're going to be using in this session. So we're going to be using the palette for the paints. We're going to be using a sponge to apply most of the, the colors on it. We're going to be using a big flat brush to apply the black paint. We're going to be using a smaller brush that we can flick for the stars and then a another small brush that we're going to use to paint the planets and we're also going to be using titanium white paint. Titanium white is very good because it, it actually is very solid. It will actually cover all the other colors and we're going to be using a violet, a deep magenta, a Prussian blue, and we're also going to be using some like a green, like a turquoise green and we're going to be doing all those colors to make this creation. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this painting that I have here and I'm going to paint it all black. So I'm gonna take the black and I'm going to take a paintbrush and I just cover this. You can use a black canvas. You can buy a black canvas from the store or you can take a white canvas and paint it black or you can take an old painting and paint that black. But this is the first thing that we're gonna do. You can actually add a little bit of water to this black paint. It goes quite the long way. Paint it all thoroughly. Make sure it's all covered, let that dry. And then we'll come back and we will do the next step. All right, so we're back now and the black is completely dry over here. So I think I went over earlier. So we're gonna be doing this scene. We're gonna be doing this galaxy scene here. And the two planets here, lots of stars. And we're going to create this. Now, one thing, that um, I do. I have found that people like to use brushes. When they do this, they like to use their brushes. All the videos that I've seen, they use brushes to, um, to create the effects here. I tried that. I personally did not like it, so I have decided to employ the sponge. It's a sponge here that I got um, at the dollar store, and I cut it so it was rounded, so it wasn't square, and I got a whole bunch and I just cut them and rounded them up so that they weren't just square, they can, so they had soft edges. So we're gonna start by doing this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this in layers. This is all about layers here. We're gonna start with um, blues. We're gonna do some dark blues and some purples. And then we're gonna move over to some pinks, some deep magentas. And then after all the dark layers are on, then we're gonna put the lighter layers on top of that and make it even lighter. And so the whole point of this too is to do it in light layers. You're gonna do it lightly. You're not gonna have a lot of thick globs of paint on it. So you can take your, we'll take the dark blue first, we'll go from purple, or from dark blue to purple to the magenta. And the black is right there. So we're gonna get some of this on. And we're just going to blob it a couple times. You're going to find, you're going to now define what areas you're going to have as your blues, what areas you're going to have as your greens, whatever areas you're going to have as your pinks. And we're going to just start blotting in these different areas. Make 
And you can do this wherever you want. You can do it how often, how much you want. You can make different designs that you want. At the end, I'll show you some other pictures of other ones that were done. So that's how I'm gonna have my, my dark blues. And then I'm gonna go right into the pur purples. So I'm gonna take this Put some dark purples on here. I'm going to take some of the magenta now. take my paper towel and I blot some of that off. Take some more of the few the deep magenta. Kind of like that color. Okay, good. So now we're gonna let we're gonna let that dry. So let dry and let that dry and come back in a little bit. All right. So it's not drying fast enough for me, and I don't want to wait. So I'm gonna put it put the hair dryer on and apply it to it. And that's something that you can do from home. All right. Now we're back. So that's dry, and now I'm going to put some white paint on this because we're going to add some white paint to the existing colors that we have here, and I'm going to use a little paintbrush. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to add it to the blue. Get color going on that, add some white to the purple, and do the purple in stages too. Meaning I'm gonna have like different degrees of purple. It's a lot there. Add some to the pink. Have a darker pink and then add more and more and more white as I wanna get make it lighter. And then we're also going to add some turquoise here. And some varying degrees of that. All right then. So I'm gonna take some of this lighter blue I'm going to dab it over the areas that I want it to go to. Get the purple. Just go right. Just going right into the purple. I'm not cleaning this off at all. Overlapping it some. I'm going to save some bunch of areas for the green because I really like that green in there. Get some pink going. Some 
This is just what I have on there. green you can make this any shape you want you can take liberties to make it any any angular any direction any shape you want So let, let that, that's how I'm fine with that. I'm pretty happy with how that looks right now. So I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come back and add the next layer on top of it. All right, now we're gonna go to the next layer. So I'm gonna take some more white and mix it with the pink to make a much lighter pink. Mix it with the purple, get a much lighter purple. And mix them with the blue. Get a real light blue in there. And I'm also going to take this white and mix it with some of this green and lighten that up a little bit. So I'm gonna just apply this here now. Get with this blue here. Turn into purple a little bit. Find another angle. pink in there. That's a lot of white, that's okay. I actually take some straight white now. I'm going to take some straight white. If I can Seems like I've lost a lot of the um, the purple here. Let me see if I can get some more purple. Put that just right on top there like that. Take a look and see where else I want to go. Some more of this green. This is the white. some green there with that white. Good. So that's all I'm going to do on that. And then I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to go on the next step. All right, so we're back. So this part has dried now. I used the hair dryer that dried it off. And now we're gonna use the this brush. This is made of natural hair and it looks a lot easier. Plus I like to use these kinds of brushes because they're meant to kind of go different places as opposed to one of these brushes, which is uh, finer to use fine lines. 
So I'll use one of these brushes and do my flicking on that. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water. I'm gonna mix it into my paint, my white paint here. And then I usually have this flat. I feel more comfortable doing it flat, but I'm going to do it um, up like this for the demonstration. And I'm gonna just flick paint all over this and it's gonna be the stars. Uh, the more flicking you do, the more stars there are, the better it's gonna look. So here we go. I'm gonna do the planets afterwards. Try to stay close so that I can keep them contained. You can also use an old toothbrush. Old toothbrush works really well for this. Dip it again. Maybe a little bit more water. As many stars, as few stars or as many stars as you want. And when you feel like that is, you have enough of what you want to do, then you can let that dry and then we're going to do the plants on top of that. All right, we're back and we're going to do some plants. Put a little bit of black here. And I just eyeball the circles. I find the two places that I want, I'm going to do the same place as I have those ones over there. And I just eyeball them and then I eyeball doing the circles. So I'm going to dip it in my black and I'm just going to do You are very welcome to take something and trace around it and then paint in. And sometimes they look like seeing them have a little, little one. So we're going to do that. Those three stuff, three plants. Now to make the edges, you can see the edges like a little shadow. And I'm, even if I have my paint, already in black. I'm going to dip it in the edge of the white, the very edge of the white, so I have a little bit on it. And I'm just going to go over the edge real delicately. And I'm going to kind of blend it in to the rest of the black. Maybe dip it a little bit more in, a little bit of the white, so I can get the little edge here. Kind of blend it all on this half of the planet. On the little one, the smaller one. I'm going to use the edge, just the very tip, just the very, very tip of it. And I give it some depth. And then you can go back over it until you feel like you're very comfortable with it. And as uh, my daughter pointed out, it would look very realistic to have a couple stars on top of the planet. So let's see if we can make that happen. Just a couple of them. Just 
just a couple just a little bit so we're gonna allow let that dry and then see if we want to do anything after that but otherwise this is your galaxy and that's all for the day okay if you want to see my rock and roll songs click right on this guitar and if you want to see an, a different one of my videos uh, then you could click right inside here if you have subscribed or not subscribe right here